Hello out there. My name is Judith Corvin Blackburn. I guess I'm live. I see a little I see a little blue circle going around. So it's a little difficult to know if I am live yet. Uh, it stopped, so it looks like I'm live. <laughs> and I am alive here. Um, greetings, beautiful light beams out there. <clears throat> I've done a fair amount of internet teaching, but I've not taught on Facebook on Facebook Live. And in the teaching I've done in the past, I've been able to see you. I've done it through Zoom and other, um, other servers or whatever that's called like that. So this is new for me. I'm going to have to just begin to feel into you. Also, oh, I do see there is a place for comment. So that's a good thing. <laughs> if I remember to what to um, read them. Okay, so I'm excited to be able to do this, even though it's not easy for me. Um, I still find that my little 3D self gets nervous before I do a presentation. And yet what I know, and I know this for every person out there, is that we have to push through that. We have to activate our courage. Each and every one of you has special gifts. You're part of what I call the 5D global team. We're all working this together. And each of us has an important contribution. It might be loud in public, it might be very private, but it's equally important. And it's very unusual not to feel some fear when you're ready to step into it. So. I really encourage you all, get used to it. You may feel scared, so what? Do it anyway. And so in my doing it anyway, I actually signed up for two half hours today. Um, this first one is activating your 5D light codes. And I'm really excited to be presenting this because I want to give you an experience of it. And this is where, again, a more interactive uh, situation would be lovely, but we'll do what we can here. Um, and so what we're going to start out with, uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a writer. Um, I published, or my um, third book was published by Inner Traditions. It was released this past May um, called Activating Your 5D Frequency. I've been teaching multidimensionality on and off for the last 10 years. <clears throat> the very, uh, I've been much more immersed in it the last three or four. And obviously, given the title of my book, I'm very much about the fact that we're stepping into 5D consciousness and that it's not a linear process. In other words, we're in transition. So the more we feel into our 5D frequency, our 5D nature, which does activate these light codes that are in our DNA, and I'll talk more about that in a minute, um, the more we actually, um, the, the, that vibration, of course, brings us great peace and joy because it feels wonderful and it helps shift the planet. So that's what I teach. That's what I've written about most recently. Um, I'm also a transpersonal psychotherapist. I've been doing that for almost 50 years. <laughs> In some ways, I can't believe I'm that old, but I am. So um, that's taught me a lot about the human psyche and about how we go through these transitions. And I, I write about that a lot in my book. Anyway, let's get on with it. <clears throat> so what I'd like to start out with is a brief centering meditation. I'd like you all to close your eyes and take a deep centering breath. Just really focusing on the pure act of breathing. A deep inhale in and a deep exhale out. And on the exhale, <clears throat> release any distractions. Release any discomfort, any concerns. Just let that all flow out with the breath.
And on the inhale, I'd like you to imagine that you're pulling in golden spirals of light. Just inhale these tiny golden spirals. And as they begin to move into your body, you'll begin to feel them activating every cell. Bringing a sense of calm and peace and a sense of being awake. Perhaps you'll begin to feel these cells tingling. Perhaps you'll begin to feel them growing more and more spacious from each other. Just to allow yourself to breathe into that sensation. And with every inhale, allow those tiny golden spirals of light, light filled with love and consciousness to disperse to each and every cell in your body. Just allow yourself to feel that. Now I'd like you to go into your heart, to focus on the cells in your heart, also filled with that beautiful light and that beautiful consciousness and holding the divine love that we have the capacity to hold within our hearts. And just take a moment and let that love disperse also through every cell in your body. Bathe yourself in that love. And then send that love out to all of us on this symposium and the summit. To all of your loved ones, to all of your community, your city, your town, your country and ultimately out to every living thing on our planet. And just spend another moment and notice how that feels. And so if you can feel that vibration within you, if you can feel that light in your cells, <clears throat> if you can feel that expansiveness in your heart and that love energy filling you and then going out to everyone, you're activating those light codes. So enjoy it because when we step into that 5D frequency, we step into joy. We step into radiance and we step very deeply into love and unconditional love, unconditional love of ourselves, unconditional love of everyone, all those we agree with, all those we don't agree with, all those who are stepping into their best manifestation, their best selves, and those who aren't. We are all human. We are all on some level in this together. This is the unity consciousness that was spoken of, I believe, yesterday. We are one. We are part of each other. And the more love we can put into that, the more we transform our planet. Okay, so let me talk a little bit first about the idea that we were 5D beings. We were 5D beings and perhaps 5D humans. We are star seeded. Star empires, galactic empires, popped into this planet probably over a million years ago and began to seed beings on the planet. And there was a lot of, um, how you say, things went up and down. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't work too well. But as recently, probably, let's say 20,000 years ago, 
there were 5D, um, large 5D societies, Atlantis, pre-historic um, Egypt, before the historians started, because we have such a limited view of history and conventional teaching that we, we say it only goes back maybe 10,000 years, which is really absurd, by the way. You can feel into that. We are so much older. And when I was in Egypt, what I saw besides, you know, amazing temples and um, even, even with them being quite um, messed with, quite uh, there was a lot of destruction when the Christians came in to wipe out these gods and goddesses of the Netaru. But the, the temples, even, you know, thousands of years later and having gone through a lot of abuse are still magnificent and the energies of it. And then, of course, the Sphinx and the Great Pyramids. And um, I could go on and on about that, but that's not my point right now. My point right now is before the pharaohs, Way, way back, Egypt was a fifth dimensional culture. I've experienced it, I remember it, and I really think you will as well. Atlantis, Lemuria, there may be ones we just don't even know about yet. <clears throat> and many indigenous people have been able to keep that frequency, especially the less they've had to deal with so-called civilization. Um, the, the, Peruvian shamans up in the Andes, the African Dogon tribe, they knew they were from the stars. The Cherokee, I live very close to the, the eastern band of the Cherokee, they knew they were from the Pleiades, the uh, aboriginals. And I'm far from an expert on this, but it, the, also the eastern yogis, the, the, their enlightenment is fifth, stepping into being fifth dimensional. So, how come we used to be that way and there are still people in pockets on the planet that are holding that frequency, but most of us are not yet. And it's because of trauma, okay? There's a study called epigenetics. And again, I'm not an expert, but it's fascinating because it's a study of our genes. And what they found is that um, trauma can be genetically passed down. It is a gene in the DNA. It is part of a gene in the DNA that gets activated and it does through generations. They did some interesting studies with mice actually about this. And um, there's nobody that's grown up on our planet that doesn't have either some trauma of their own, which is most people, and ancestral trauma. This planet for the last 10,000 years has been a disaster area. <laughs> and it, you can see it now, it's getting more and more clear, I think, because uh, we have the ability to look more globally and see what's going on, what's going on in this country, what's going on around the world. <clears throat> so, so that's happening on one level. And then the other level is we are um, many, many of us, all of you in the summit, are activating this higher frequency. We are beginning to reclaim the DNA that has always been with us, but that has been deactivated. So the trauma DNA has been activated and it's ancestral, it gets passed down. We have the power to deactivate it and it, it may be, well, I don't think I'm going to have time, but um, uh, through visualization and breathing and intent, you can deactivate that. The trick with our genes is that we have, I was just reading, 30,000 expressions in, in one gene, all right? But what gets expressed is either through our intent or it's something that just gets handed to us. So we come in with ancestral trauma. Many of us have very traumatic childhoods. That gene can be deactivated, which means it will no longer get passed down. And our star consciousness DNA can be activated. That little centering meditation was activating some of that lo those light codes in our DNA. And all sorts of gifts open up as we activate those life codes. 
my guess is everyone that's watching this has been activating your light codes. You may not call it that. You may not realize what's going on. You don't feel it all the time. We're going back and forth and that's normal, but it's there. And the more consciously and the more intent we put out to activate those light codes, the more they get activated. And again, that's what brings us into that fifth dimensional consciousness, into a fifth dimensional life, and ultimately into a fifth dimensional planet. So what I'd like to do now is a much longer meditation and get as comfortable as you can. If you have a journal um, or some paper, I know Abigail at her opening suggested that everybody do that. Um, keep it handy. I'm going to take you into a deeper of activating that DNA. And again, the main thing is experience it. And also, don't worry if you don't experience it, because on some level, your consciousness is picking that up. Okay, so get as comfortable as you can. And just close your eyes, allow your eyes to soften. Just begin to focus again on your breath. Letting yourself become fully aware as you exhale. And fully aware as you inhale. And again, releasing any tension or distractions on the exhale. And pulling in those tiny gold, golden spirals of light filled with love and consciousness on the inhale. And as you feel those golden spirals of love and light disperse to all those cells in your body, you begin to feel both soothed and activated by their energy. And so just keep focusing on the exhale and on the inhale until you allow yourself to drift into a deeper and deeper state of relaxation. And I'd like you to imagine now that you're on a very private, pristine beach. You have this whole beautiful beach to yourself. The sky above you is a vibrant blue. The white sands below your feet feel warm and shift gently as you walk. Allow yourself to drink in all the colors and shapes, all the visual beauty in front of you. Listen to the sounds, the rhythmic waves crashing to the shore. The birds cawing and calling to each other. Feel the bright sun warm your hair, warm your skin. Breathe deeply and notice any fragrances. You might want to take a moment to walk along the water's edge, feeling the change from the sand to the, the soil beneath the water, the squishiness, the softness, the moistness the energy, allow your feet to draw that energy in. If you feel called for a jump in, go for a swim, go for a dive, or just splash around a little. Put your hands on the bottom and feel the energy more. The sea has so many mysteries for us, so many gifts and so much power. And now I'd like you to return to the shore. 
And this time to spread out a blanket or a towel, a very large cushy towel that you can lie down on. And stretch your body out, feeling the earth supporting you. Feel her energy, feel her power, feel her wisdom. It all begins to seep into you, soaking into all of your cells. Perhaps you can begin to feel the warmth and the consciousness rising from the very heart of Mother Earth. Credo Mutwa, the African shaman, says there's a golden pyramid deep, deep, deep in the iron crystal core of the earth. Perhaps you can begin to feel its energy rising and seeping into your bodies and into your cells. Now I'd like you to imagine that each cell in your body has a tiny solar panel and as you lie on this pristine beach, each and every cell in your body is becoming energized, activated by photons, by light, by the light filled with higher consciousness coming from the sun and coming from Mother Earth. You may begin to feel very big, your cells may be so spacious that you take up the entire beach. Maybe even the entire planet. There's fine, there's room for all of us. Just allow, just let yourself luxuriate in this feeling. Realize, too, about the photon and energy waves that are emitted from Mother Earth. They come from the sun, they come from Mother Earth, and they're coursing gently through your body. And they're beginning to activate new expressions in your DNA. Expressions that have been dormant for many thousands of years and now more and more are ready to wake up. You can now sense that you're experiencing the world, you're feeling into the world from that fifth dimensional consciousness. Uh, in that expanded, beautiful self, who you really are. And just take a moment and send love to your 3D little self. Send love, send appreciation for that being a part of you. And then tune back into every part, every one of your cells. Notice how quickly they're vibrating. It might feel like you're getting a cellular massage. You'll find yourself in a remarkable state of ease. Allow yourself more and more to just, just, just drop into that feeling. Notice how expanded your heart feels. Notice that joy is filling each and every one of those cells in your body. And just surrender to this ecstasy. Just allow yourself to get more and more relaxed into it. And as you're lying there feeling this vibration, I want in your mind's eye for you to see yourself as part of this vast fifth dimensional global team. There are teammates everywhere. We're all here to do our part and bring this shift. 
So send love to all those teammates across the globe. And if you're unclear about your own role, about your own contribution, go ahead and ask the wisdom in your cells, the wisdom in your heart, what it is that you're most here to do. What is your unique contribution? And then listen quietly as answers come forth. I want you to take a few more minutes and see yourself walking through your daily life with your cells vibrating like this, fully activated as this 5D fifth dimensional human, spreading love and joy wherever you go. And whenever this feels complete, slowly sit up and thank Mother Earth and Father Sky for all the love, support, and wisdom they bring your way. Thank the oceans, thank the sands and the birds. And then as you're ready, slowly leave the beach and bring yourself back into the room, becoming aware of any sounds, the feeling of a chair or cushion you're sitting on or lying down on, and slowly wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes as a way to bring yourself back. You may have traveled very deeply. You wanna bring yourself back now to your room, to the fact that this is on Facebook Live <laughs> But you're back in your 5D expression, in that joy, in that love. And let that lead you throughout the rest of your day, throughout the rest of your week. And so we are about out of time. That went quickly for me. Um, I am coming up in the next half hour to talk about envisioning our 5D planet. Another topic I am hugely excited about and hugely passionate about is actually a better way to say it. Um, so for now, I'll let you go. Let's take about five minutes and I will be back at two o'clock Mountain Time for this next segment. Thank you.